All right, so this is uh, an explanation for 6D of the released free response questions for the 2017 AP Calculus BC exam. Now, this problem here, they gave us that f of x um, was equal to this, at least the fourth degree polynomial here for, for this problem. Part C, they tell us that g of x is the integral from 0 to x of f of t dt. And they have us find um, the first four non-zero terms and the general term. I'm not going to help with that um, completely, but we're going to need at least um, the non-general terms, the first four non-zero terms, to help work out part D. And so um, we'll do that part first. And I'm not going to go through a lot of the detail. Um, so we take the antiderivative of the polynomial expression that we have here with, in terms of T, and then we'd plug in X, plug in zero, and then subtract. But I'm going to skip a lot of those mechanics and just keep it in terms of x because everything um, will just be the same that way. So uh, we get half x squared minus x to the sixth over, nope, x to the third over 6 plus x to the fourth over 12 minus x to the fifth over 20. Okay, so... Um, and this is just the polynomial uh, that we're dealing with, so um, there are more terms um, we're not, but in the whole series, but that's not the important point right now. Now, in Part D, they ask us to show that, using the alternating series uh, estimation theorem, that P of 4, the absolute value of P of 4, P sub 4 of 1 half minus G of 1 half, that magnitude is less than 1 500th. Now, the thing you have to recognize first is that what is all of this on this side here? All of this side here represents your error bound in the fourth partial sum, okay? So if you remember, we defined our error bound to be, at least the magnitude of the error bound, to be the magnitude of the actual value minus the uh, approximation, the nth partial sum. The order of the subtraction doesn't matter because you're using the absolute value here. So they have the approximation first and the um, uh, and the actual value second. But again, because we're taking the magnitude, it doesn't matter. So if the magnet, if, if this quantity in the absolute value uh, here, this represents the magnitude of the error bound, and from the alternating series estimation theorem, the magnitude of the error is bounded by the uh, n plus first term, then in our case here, the error in the fourth partial sum, which is what we're trying to bound here, is going to be bounded by the fifth term, okay? And so what's the fifth term? Well, if we go back up here. The fifth term is the, the first term not used in our sum. Uh, the first term not used in our sum is going to be this term here, because remember, as they defined it, this is the uh, the fourth degree polynomial. That's what this four, P sub four represents. The fourth degree is this one right here, okay? So my sum only goes up to these terms here for P sub four, okay? Because it only goes up to the fourth degree. So the fifth degree term is the first one that's left off. That's the term that bounds our nth partial sum down here, okay? So uh, I just need the magnitude, so I could, it's got a subtraction in front of it. I don't care about that. So x to the fifth over 20. Now, remember, this is evaluated at 1 half. So I'm going to plug in 1 half. Uh, let's move that 1 over 20 over here and then do 1 half to the fifth. And 1 half to the fifth is 1 32nd. And 20 times 32 is 640. So that becomes 1 over 640. And 1 over 640 is less than 1 over 500. And that's what they wanted us to show. So that's the whole problem right there. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to just uh, use, uh, just show that the error in the fourth degree polynomial, when evaluated at one half, is going to be smaller than one five hundredth. There it is.